what is up guys, Trex here, welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.2 with TXW. This is it, this is the big one, this is episode 100. We have survived 100 episodes of Terraria 1.2, and Terraria 1.3 is on the way. It is coming out next month, I believe. Um, so, really, the, one of the last things we have to do in Terraria 1.2 is just beat the Frost Moon, and so we'll be doing that as soon as possible, but this is it. This is episode 100. We've come so far. It feels like just yesterday, it was episode 25, and we beat the Wall of Flesh. Finally, after around three or so attempts. Um, but this is it. We're here, we're here, and the reason that we're here is because of you guys. You guys have helped me um, have kept the siege going with your views and with your positive feedback. And even if you guys didn't watch this at all, and I was just another 12-year-old with 10 subscribers, I would still be making these because I enjoy it. But this is because this is because of you guys. So thank you so much for keeping this series alive for 100 episodes. May we have not 100 more, please, because I I, I wanna I wanna beat Terraria for the first time. I've never beaten it before. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys. Um, there's gonna be more. The, Terraria is always gonna be a staple of the channel. Anyways, guys, so, this episode, what have we got to do? Well, for the special, I figured that we are going to have a new world download, a new fresh world download, the episode 100 special. We're going to have a world tour, and then also we are going to beat every single boss that we've beat in this series. Um, not events, bosses. So, um, during the days we're going to prepare... For those bosses, then at night we'll fight them. And so the bosses are, in this order, the Eye of Cthulhu, the King Slime, the Brain of Cthulhu, the Queen Bee, Skeletron, the Wall of Flesh, the Destroyer, the Twins, Skeletron Prime, Pr Plantera, Gollum, and Duke Fishron. So, we have all of those bosses to beat. We've got to prepare for them. So I figure that it, it just turned day. We'll start preparing for them uh, as, uh, right now. And so that means that we have to go through and grab all of these summoners that we have. We'll put them in order. Uh, we don't have anything besides the suspicious thing eyes, so we're going to have to go and get a um, get one of those things that you call uh, got to do it all sometime. Um, but I know I've got some other things. Sorry, uh, my phone keeps fuzzing. And then we'll have to make some things like uh, we'll have to make the abomination, and I know the recipe for that. It's um, uh, it's stuff that I have. Um, let's see here. One thing that I do have is a claw of the year voodoo doll somewhere in here. Uh, and we can use that to summon... Oh, wait, was that it? No, that was a hook. We can use that to summon Skeletron. Is he... Where is that thing? I know I have it somewhere. Come on, where is it? It might be in my um, piggy bank, actually. Let me just check down there to see if I have anything, any... Oh, there it is, Clothier Booty Doll. So, let's see, that would be after I Cthulhu, King Slime, Red Cthulhu, Queen Bee, that would be the fifth, so we'll put that in the fifth slot. So this is King Slime, Red Cthulhu, Queen Bee. All right, um, now we can make a... Uh, if we get 30 Platinum and a Ruby, I believe, we can make a Crown and... Um, a King Slime uh, summer thing. So let's just do that real quick. Uh, oh, and of course we need a hundred gel, which I do have in my materials right there. Um, I have so much gel. I need to use my flamethrower if I have one. I can't remember whether or not I have one. Um, also, I finished off a metro line, as you can see. Took a huge chunk out of the desert. I'll probably fix that at some point. But uh, first, let's just make ourselves this crown right there sweet all right and where do you do this it's probably at a demon altar all right um so this is for the king slime we will put this in the second slot and then for the beaming nation we need to grab our honey and our hive and stuff so oh wait, yeah um i didn't know if i'd remember the recipe or not so i just put that stuff in this chest right here so let's just do this, abomination, um, there we go, like that. What was next after that? The Brain of Cthulhu, uh, so how do we summon the Brain of Cthulhu? 
to the wiki. Let's auto pause real quick so that we have much time as possible. Uh, Terraria wiki. Wiki, there we go. Alright. Um. So I need some water. Brain of Cthulhu. Of Cthulhu. There we go. Now, how do we summon this? Uh, bloody spine. Uh, what do we need to make a bloody spine? I believe I have all the materials. 15 vertebrae. Alright, so let's just get that. Um. Turn auto pause back off. 15 vertebrae for the bloody spine. And that would be under my materials section. There we go. 61 vertebrae. So let's pull off 15. And we can just put that right there. So we've got all the way up to Skeltron. Now we'll just need to get a uh, guide video to all. And then Plantera, of course, is going to be with the um, the pink flower thing. So this slot right here goes the guide video to all. This slot goes the destroyer. Uh, twins, Skeleton Prime, and then Plantera, and then Gollum, and then we'll have a uh, Truffle Worm for Duke Fish on. So let's just get uh, the copper and tin, I believe it is necessary. Let's find what which materials we need to make the um, summoners for the hard mode things. Oh, we can make the Abomination right now. Actually, we don't need to do it at a um, at a thing. Uh, let's, okay, tin bars. I know that it needs some tin. Or, what does it need? How do I... Okay, back to the wiki. Uh, I wish I left that page pulled up. Terraria. Wiki. Uh, okay, right there. Um, sorry, I need to... Uh, what was it called? The Twins. And the Destroyer. And Skeltron Prime. So, how are these summoned? Uh, mechanical Eye. How do we make these mechanical things? Lens and Iron. Okay, it looks like it's Iron. And Souls of... L okay, uh, so... Okay, we'll get the three lenses, the five iron bars, the of light. For the destroyer, we need, uh, let's see. We need some more, how do we do this? Oh yeah, mechanical, mechanical worm. So there's this worm tooth, I believe. Rotten chunk, iron bar, soul of night. So it looks like we need 15 rotten chunks, um, or 15, uh, iron bars, that's all silver. That's so much silver. Let's pull out 15 iron. Right there. Uh, we'll pull out 5 for each. Okay, like that. Um, and we need the 3 lenses and the rotten chunks. Uh, so that'd be materials. I believe, yep, there's the lenses. And, oh my gosh, so many rotten chunks. Let's put that 10 away. Uh, how many rotten chunks was it? 6 rotten chunks, okay. 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. And, oh, put that in the correct order. We'll put this twin, uh, tin away real quick. We need souls of light and souls of night. Uh, so that's my basic souls. Uh, there we go, 32. How much of this do we need? Six souls of night. Okay, and six souls of light. And let's look up the mechanical eye. Mechanical eye, all right. Um, nope, not mechanical eye, mechanical skull, that's what it is, mechanical skull, please don't take more than five iron bars, okay, then three souls of light, three souls of night, and thirty bones, okay, so we can do that, um, three of each of these, there we go, and the bones, where do we get the bones, they're in here, 365 of them, let's pull out 30, we can make all of these, and where do we make them, do we make them at an anvil, yep, anvil, Okay, so let's hit, hit up our anvil. Uh, that's over here. I'll probably move my um, other my things I set up over there in the uh, metro, the workbench, and the hellforge. I'll move them probably someplace, maybe. So let's uh, craft these. Oh, yep, it needs to be a mithril anvil, of course. Uh, right there, this mechanical eye, which goes in second. Mechanical worm, which is the first. And... A mechanical skull, which is that? Oh, okay. So let's use the vertebrae instead of the rotten chunks. Um, okay, that's fine. We will just substitute uh, rotten chunks back in. So let's put, oh no, not the mechanical worm, but the rotten chunks back in. Let's pull out the 16, six vertebrae we need. All right. Um, and then this, I don't know how much gel we need, but we should have enough in our materials our uh, slot already, so I'm just going to put this 99 gel back. 
And this is going to be the guy to do it all. Uh, have the loads of power cell, and there's the plantera and the truffle worm. So we need to go catch ourselves a truffle worm. So let's grab our bug net right here. I don't think we have any other truffle worms. And we will take this and put it in our inventory. And then, because we don't have that metro line set up, we will fly to the jungle. Um, where we have that mushroom biome we created, and then we will catch a jungle worm, and then it is almost nighttime, so we will begin our first boss fights. Um, yeah, so first is the Eye of Cthulhu, then we'll do the King Slime. We need to find a Crimson Altar to create that King Slime, uh, but we can easily do that somewhere as soon as we get this Truffle Worm. I'm fairly confident that we will be able to beat Duke Fish on, because we have all these nice big healing potions. Oh, I need to summon these guys real quick. And my penguin, of course. What's his name? Um, Peggy? Yeah, Peggy the penguin. Alright, continue flying. Okay, and... No, we don't need... We don't want to go down there yet. That will be for later when we fight Gollum and Plantera. I'm confident we can find a Plantera uh, bulb somewhere around there. But do fish run. Uh, we so we have three things that we need, that, or four things we need to find the jungle. Okay, there's our plan terrible. We need to fight the queen bee here later tonight, or later. Um, after we beat King Slime, we need to fight the what's it called? Who's he? What's it? Um, the golem, and we also need to fight the. Okay, look for that truffle worm. We don't want him to get away. We also need to fight Plantera and Gollum and uh, Duke Fisher on. We get the truffle worm from here. Plantera, Gollum, and Queen Bee. So I think I said everything that we need to do. Alright, um, there's so many things just killing us. It is slightly annoying. Okay, we'll, we'll Pumpkin King this, or Horseman's Blade this up so that we have just tons and tons of flying pumpkins on our side. But, okay, so it's a bit of a waiting game. Because you don't always know when the truffle worms will spawn, nor where they'll be, nor if you'll be able to actually catch one. But as soon as we see one appear on the screen, we're going to uh, whip out our bug net, bug net, and then we'll try and get under it and chase it, and we'll just see what happens. Um, might be useful if I had a bigger mushroom biome, but we should be able to get one pretty soon, hopefully. Um, at night, though. We'll just uh, fight the Eye of Cthulhu, and then we'll come back here. Okay. Do I see one anywhere on screen? I do not. Uh, maybe a Hunter Potion would have been useful. That's always showed me the location of every enemy. And so that could have shown me uh, one of those things if it was hiding. Is that a Mushroom Ward Pinch, or is that just a t tiny mushroom? I don't know. Um, this, is, this, this area looks so different with all these nice new colors. Um from when we changed our lighting options. Okay. Sir, come on. There's gotta be one uh, uh, a truffle worm somewhere around here. It doesn't take that long to spawn. Uh, so many glowing mushrooms. This would be so nice for uh, living underground. But alas, we cannot bring them into that world for that is cheating. Alright. Um, hmm. I don't see a truffle worm, so we will, whenever we keep coming back to the jungle, we'll keep going back and checking for one of those things, but for now, let's just put these, oh my god, okay, I thought this said 417, um, especially like, oh my gosh, 417 mushrooms, but it wasn't, alright, I uh, don't need these mushroom grass seeds, because they're useless to me, um, but yeah, we'll get that thing later, we can also... Uh, we can go check down in hell real quick and see if there's any, um, any, uh, voodoo demons so that we can get a guide voodoo doll. I'm gonna grab some more real quick. It's almost time for us to fight our first wave of bosses. Oh, we need to go to a crimson biome and get a crimson altar unless we can find a demon altar down here. Or any truffle worms? No? Oh, there's a enchanted sword. I think I saw a live crystal over there. Um, so yeah, uh, we are almost down to the underworld. There's another mushroom biome. Hmm. And we have arrived now. All right. Um, you know what? It'll be better to come back during the day. Let's hit up that crimson 
um, real quick because then we can fight the of Cthulhu as well as the King Slime and then we can try and go to the jungle as fast as possible to get to the Bima Nation and we will fight the um, Eye of C Brain of Cthulhu somewhere in that jungle because I believe it has to be at night and we kill things fast enough so that it shouldn't be really be an issue. But let's go down here real quick uh, to find a Crimson Altar because I don't think I've destroyed them all. There's a Shiver Thorn over there. Uh, Shiver Thorn in its natural habitat. That's uh, interesting and kind of rare sometimes. Um, okay, yeah, there's... Need to make a hole in this real quick. Just just a small hole. Alright, uh... Da, 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 where did I get those bricks? Because I want to throw them away. Oh, just past that Crimson Altar. Another Shiver, another shiver Thorn. Okay, Slime Crown. Boom. And... Bloody spine, boom. We'll get a guy voodoo doll sometime. Alright, so now let's go up here. Uh, uh, away from all these vile, hallowed creatures. And we will begin our pummeling of the bosses because I believe it is nighttime. So, are you guys ready for the first boss we ever killed in Terraria 1.2 with TXW? That is the Eye of Cthulhu. Let's begin. The Eye of Cthulhu has awoken. Horseman's Blade, slash this uh, sword, and the Eye of Cthulhu has been defeated. Let's collect up the drops. Alright, got an Eye of Cthulhu mask. Okay, now to the next boss, the King Slime. We just have to wait a second for him to appear. It's a full moon, so we have some werewolves, looks like. Um, yeah, so probably wasn't best to spawn him over here, but he should appear on screen pretty soon, hopefully. Hopefully, where is he? If I need to remake the crown, I will, um, but I'd like it if he would spawn. Ooh, that'd be nice. We have this are arena from when we originally fought the Eye of Cthulhu. Oh, I heard something. Uh, Frost Giant? Nope. Or Frost Golem, actually, is what they're called. Any King Slime so far. Any King Slime whatsoever. Hey! That's a meteorite. Uh, Shiver Thorns. Music has restored. So that's not a good sign. Uh, King Slime? Hello? Okay, I hear the boss music, so he's somewhere around here. He might be underground. Um, let's hope that he is. Because that's around where I spawned him. Oh, okay, there he is. There's the King Slime. Sweet. So let's hit that King Slime. We'll kill him. And then we'll head under, uh, over to the jungle for the abomination. And then we'll also fight the Eye of Cthulhu down there. Or, sorry, Brand of Cthulhu. Alright, King Slime got wrecked. Just absolutely wrecked. Got a slime hook as well. Which is always nice. Alright, so now, uh, second boss down. We've killed the Eye of Cthulhu and the King Slime. Now, it is time for the third boss. That is the Abeeman. Or, that is the Queen Bee. So we just need to head to the jungle where we can uh, fight the queen bee at any time. After that, we will head up to the um, service to fight uh, the Brain of Cthulhu and that Crimson Biome there, and then we will also fight Skeletron down there. Then we can try and get a guy to do it all uh, from the underworld as soon as possible, and then we'll have to do the other bosses um, on a different night. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I want it to be an hour. I don't know if it will be. Um, as soon as we get to this jungle biome, though, we can spawn the queen bee. Uh, there's our pumpkin moon arena. Looking all fancy schmancy. Nice, nice. Probably should have brought some iron skin potions, but I'm fine. I believe you can fight the Brain of Cthulhu above ground. I don't know, though. So I'm just going to fly down here. Um, yeah, I can kill her down here. So... A Bima Nation ready to spawn in five, four, three, two, hive. Let's do this. All right, don't get stuck in the honey. There is the queen bee. I've only fought her twice before. Um, one time was off camera when I was m building my hive arena and I accidentally triggered her with my PX. And the second time was on camera. So come at me, bee, bro. Bee, bro. That's a woman. Anyway, okay, Queen Bee dead. That's three bosses down. Don't get stuck in the honey blocks. Oh, you move so slowly. Okay, now, around here, we can summon the Brain of Cthulhu, I believe. Yep, so let's just fight him. Down here, we have to kill all of his creepers first. So we can do that with the Horseman's Blade easily. 
wherever they are. Yep, here they are. Yeah, this should get them nice and easily. Oh, they're all gonna die. Mm, okay, and the Brain of Cthulhu has awoken, and the Brain of Cthulhu is dead. So sweet. Okay, let's just grab our loot real quick. Do we get it all? Okay, good. Um, I have Cthulhu, King Slime, Brain of Cthulhu, Queen Bee down. Accidentally did Brain of, uh, Brain of Cthulhu, or Queen Bee before Brain of Cthulhu in the wrong order, but that is fine. Um, hopefully you guys won't get too mad at me for that. Clothier Voodoo Doll. Let's, um, we have to kill the Clothier Voodoo Doll. We have to kill the Clother, Clothier first, I believe, because we have it equipped. And then he will become Skeletron. So I don't want him to kill my NPCs. Oh, not the party girl. Okay, Clive was slain. Don't know who that was. Don't really care. I'll figure it out in a second. But anyways, let's kill Skeletron. He is going down, down, down to the ground, ground, ground. He has a hand dead. Let's kill his other hand. Oh. Okay, yes, yeah, just a skull. And Skeletron is down. I have Cthulhu. King Slime. Break Cthulhu. Queen Bee. And, of course, Skeletron are all down. Now, let's find out who Clive was. Oh, wait. Clive was the Clothier. Okay. Okay. Uh, good. We still have this thing. Um, and we got ourselves the red hat. Okay. Fire Gauntlet was, was what was equipped. So, I don't have any um, summoner for the Wall of Flesh. So we're going to need to get that. I already have the Skeletron Hand and the Slime Hook. So let's just sell that. Um, slime Hook, Skeletron Hand. Let's sell a bunch of this stuff. Fallen Star, we don't need less healing potions. Crimstone, that, that, that. Uh, bee Pants, okay. Um, Crimson Seeds, don't need. King Slime Mask, we haven't gotten before. Shiver Thorns, uh, Crimtain Ore, okay. And Honeycomb, oh, that's, uh, that's valuable. Tissue Sample, and okay so we've sold all that let's head down let's put the rest of this stuff away uh b nades go under explosives i believe yep right there we'll put this in our uh in our vanity sections where's my hats uh hats there we go okay we already have some like Thu mask and wall flesh mask and red hats so sell sell but we don't have Brain of Cthulhu. Um, Destroyer Skeletron Prime. Brain of Cthulhu. We don't have. And we don't have the King Slime Mask. So we have most of these masks. I should make a row for masks individually. Um, like that. Alright, anything else? Uh, no. We have a Queen Bee Trophy, which we already have. So let's put that in my house decorations right here um yeah there's my other wall flesh trophy i'm gonna sell some of these masks over here in this shop that and that oh no value oh well okay now let's put away our ninja shirt and our pants shirts oh uh, we have a ninja shirt and the pants we have the bee pants which are nice and swanky um then in materials i bottled honey or other, sorry, other, nope, it's in misc. There's my bottles. Honey, honeycomb. Releases bees when damaged. That might be valuable, actually. I'm going to keep that in my defense accessories because it's when damaged. I'll put this bee wax away. Um, health, just, by the way, these health potions, uh, just the usual, oh, screw it, I'll just sell them. Um, just sell them to the dryad. Right down here. There we go. And if I can get out, we'll put the bee wax in the materials. Don't know what it's used for. Let's see if it quick stacks. Yep, there's some bee wax down there. All right. So now, next up on the list, if I grab my sharpie real quick, uh, somewhere around here. Ah, there it is. Found it. I'm gonna take my sticky note. I'm gonna mark off what we defeated. So that one was a mislabel. I've Cthulhu, King Slime, Brain of Cthulhu, Queen Bee, Skeletron. Now we just have. The Wall of Flesh, the Destroyer, the Twin, Skeletron Prime, Plantera, the Gollum, and Duke Fishron. Oh, hit my speaker on accident. Whoops. Alright, so let's, um, it's night still, so let's go down to the Underworld. And, uh, once again, and we will wait until we get a Guide Voodoo Doll. Because we need that to fight the Wall of Flesh, then we'll fight the Wall of Flesh. And then we will head back to the jungle, uh, to see if we can get a whatever it's called, truffle worm, and then we will 
Uh, and then we should be completely prepared after we get a truffle worm. And after we get that truffle worm, we shouldn't have to do any more preparing. So we will just um, uh, do the world tour. So yeah, we should be able to fill most of the time. And then after we beat, beat Duke Fishron, that will be the end of the episode. So yeah, this is, this is going well so far, I think. So, now it's just a matter of the spawning of uh, a guy voodoo doll. So, let's see here. Uh, where can we find some demons? Are they around here somewhere? I don't want red devils. I want... Oh, oh gosh, just fell in the lava. <sighs> um... Demons, 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 demons. Where are they? They have the dolls we need. There doesn't really appear to be anything spawning. Uh, we, I wonder if we'll have to just uh, create a different world. Um, there are some imps spawning, it appears. Alright, and of course there... Oh, the blink root horde. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go off into the... Are there any unmapped parts of our underworld? There are a few. There, it's more unmapped over here, but we have most of it mapped. So let's... Uh, the underworld is actually fairly dark, even though there's lava everywhere. Um, but let's just fly around until we get some demons to give us some dolls of the guide. Um, I don't want the red devils, because they just give me, like, rare drops and stuff. And... Yeah, let's see here. There's a slime. There's not a lot spawning down here, which is unfortunate. Oh, the clover has arrived. Okay, I thought that was a boss message or something. Huh. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, gosh. Um, anything spawning? An obsidian skin potion would have probably been useful. Tricks. Oh, I hear it. Yep, there it is. And that has gone off to melt. Come on. Just give me some mobs. Okay, so when I go back, there should be just tons of enemies. Yep. Bat. Slime. Mm, what else? I heard something die back there. Oh, gosh. Fell in the lava. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're all good. That is a vile worm thing. Her bone sound hmm there's got to be some somewhere I don't want to have to create a different world just to get some demons there's bats uh, do you not get guy voodoo dolls in hard mode because if you don't that'd be annoying you should be able to buy a guy voodoo doll I swear I've got one somewhere but I must not hmm anything going to spawn there's a bat and I hear a bone dragon thing. Bone serpent. Come on. Pick your head out, boy. There it is. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so much blink root that I can sell. Because I don't want to put it in my... Oh, okay. Now we're getting some flying enemies to spawn. Unfortunately, it is a red devil. So that's eating up the spawning availability for any, um, any voodoo demons that we could have. Curse you, red devil. Curse you. Excuse me. Um, there's a bat. <sighs> okay. But wait. That, I believe that was a demon. Okay, so we killed that one. But we haven't found one with a guide voodoo doll. Oh my gosh, I've never broken those pots before, apparently. There's another red devil. Just kill it, because it's eating up spawning space. Oh, hey, we got an unholy trident. That's the second one that we've gotten. So that's interesting. Um, since we get the guide voodoo doll, though, we can kill the um, we can kill the wall flesh. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Down here we have a voodoo demon with a guide voodoo doll. Oh my gosh! There we go. All right. So now let's just throw this in the lava. Alright, so it's time for the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th boss that we have ever killed in Terraria 1.2 TRCW. Back in episode 25, we fought this guy. 
the Wall of Flesh. Um, he is, of course, one of the most famous bosses. Oh gosh, this is a mess. Okay, he helped us through it, go. Good guy, Wall of Flesh. Uh, well, I didn't even have time to finish speaking because we beat him. Got a pwn hammer and a wild sorcerer emblem, so I can sell those, which is always nice. Um, now let's head back to the surface. Uh, oh, let me grab my sharpie, and wall of flesh, boom! He's been defeated. So, now, the next night, we can defeat the destroyer. Um, now, just in the meantime, let's just sell some of this stuff. Clothier, we need to put you in your place. Uh, buy this blink root, and the seeds, and the fire blossoms, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that should be all that we need to give to you. Um, have some healing potions that I'll put away, just in here real quick. As I get a drink, um, do we have any, yeah, we already have an unholy trident, ruthless unholy trident, what is this one? This is the Adept Unholy Trident. Hey, the guide's back. Uh, so we'll just keep them both. And the emblem. Sorcerer emblem. Can go and miss accessories down here. Alrighty then. And now we just have these guys. Let's put away the Clothier Booty Doll, actually. Back in my piggy bank. Uh, we have a temple key. Appears, so that is good. Um, we don't need that. Don't need that for, some, uh, for whatever reason I thought we did. So, now let's head back to the jungle where we can kill, um, or where we can try and find... Actually, let's get our extract in here and let's get some blue dye and we'll increase the size of our mushroom biome. Uh, so, yeah, let's also set this guy's home up properly. Where are you living, Claudier? Live up there now in your NPC housing. Alright, um... Grab the extractinator. How do we make blue dye? I believe we have to buy it. I have 84 gold, though, because I'm killing all these bosses. We'll do a gold tally at the end and see how much gold we've gotten, so I won't put any way in the piggy bank. Uh, blue. Oh, extractinator. So, what does this use? Um, oh, not the extractinator. Clam and. What's it called again? Clamentator? Uh, Clintaminator. Contaminator. There we go. Well, now, what does this use to create mushroom? Um. Hmm. Let me see. Do 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 do. Solutions. Okay. What which solution does he use? Uh, blue solution. Dark blue solution. Oh, you have to buy it from the truffle. So, because we're keeping a constant gold count, we will not use this gold, um, or we'll, we'll see, we'll give ourselves like five extra gold just to buy the, um, blue solution, and then we will keep that separate from this gold, one, two, three, four, five, let's put that up there, so that will be used first, and we'll like pitch that out or something, um, because I want to see how much gold we can get from every single boss that we face, uh, Oh yeah, uh, we don't go up here anymore to get to the truffle. We use this. We just walk along calmly until we reach our rope, um, because that's how we get up to the truffle. I believe we set. Yep, yeah, we set a rope down. Let's uh, head over there. Hello, Mr. Penguin. You'll die now. Okay. Um, continue walking. We have another sip of water. I have a twenty-dollar Steam card sitting right next to my keyboard, which is nice. Um, Alright, here's our rope to the truffle, so let's just fly up this, and we'll buy our blue solution from him with our five gold that I've allotted us. Alright, hello, Mr. Truffle. Alright, how much does blue solution cost? 25 silver. Do not, dang it. Okay, um, let's convert this into silver. We'll add this, and it was at 94. Right? Okay. So yeah, now we'll just throw this over here, throw that over there, throw that over there, and shop by blue solution. Just like that. Okay, now, we have two extra silver that we'll put away. Okay, but, er, was it 96? Yeah, it was at 96, actually. So let's go back. We have our contaminator, we have our solution that we need, 
and we have our bug net to catch any glowing truffle uh, truffle worms or whatever they're called. So let's just fly back over to the jungle. Um, from there, we can kill... From the jungle, actually, we can kill Destroyer, the twins, Skeletron Prime, and Plantera, um, and Gollum. Um, and then we can catch the thing we need for Duke Fishron, but also we need to give the world to her. So, um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, if we use the jungle to kill all of these things or not, but it might make it come in handy. So, um, there's, of course, our Pumpkin Moon Arena. Let's just head back over to the jungle and follow the White Rabbit. Sorry, I just saw the Matrix, like, literally two hours ago. That was loud. Okay. Calm down, you face monster. Yeah, I saw the Matrix, like, it three hours ago or something for the first time in my life and it was incredible I really liked that movie I immediately went and just ordered the blu-ray and gave it a 10 on IMDb um but yeah the matrix so good I'm gonna make references now like follow the white rabbit and choose the blue pill or the red pill or I know kung fu because I actually understand them and there's actually tr oh I missed it there's actually uh references references to the matrix in Terraria um hello mr. turtle Okay, there's actually references to the Matrix in the- wait, did I miss it? I'm pretty sure- yeah. Yeah. How did I do that? I- I've owned this world for so long. Um, oh, I've owned this world. Yes, yes, chat. Mmm, owned. Mmm. Okay. What, what am I doing? Okay. Heading down here to our new, uh, well, there's our plant terrible. To our mushroom biome. We'll spread it a bit as well, but okay, let's just comb through it real quick. Like the stormtroopers in the desert of space balls. Kill these guys. Do I see any truffle worms? Oh, wait, I just saw something. Yes! Hey! Hey! Come back here! 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 Oh, dang it! No, blocks don't kill me now. Oh, come on. We had him. Where is he now? Where are they now? Dang it, those blocks really screwed me over. Oh, I think it just died. Oh gosh, was that our truffle worm? I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, so, but we do know that they do spawn still, so that's a good thing. There are people slamming doors because they are loud, so I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, let's continue Look, Gosh, dang it. Stop killing me, you stupid thorns. Okay. We'll disable the map. So I can get a clear view. That was not a truffle worm. Stop slamming doors, people! Ah! Any truffle worms. Any truffle worms. Man, I should be a, a lot more cautious about that approach. And maybe these things should stop killing me. Okay. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I need some pills or something. Because... People are slamming doors. It infuriates me. There's some nice chlorophyte over there. Um. <laughs> yep, I'm not seeing any truffle worms anymore. So, let's break out the old contaminator. And start spreading this jungle. Okay, how much do we have? 17. That's a good number. Good, good, solid number. There's another plantaris bulb. Oh, it's so epic. Oh, gosh. Okay, Plantera's awoken. Um, we're going to have to kill it, but we'll kill it again um, later in the episode. So that's in order. But, yeah, it, the Clintaminator, I guess, just broke it for whatever reason. That was kind of stupid. Why would it do that? But anyways, let's just get our Horseman's Blade going. Actually, we could just, like, kill us. Although, no, we can't because we'd lose all of our gold. Uh, so let's just continue just killing it. In this place that we've set up that it was completely not very, very movement friendly. Um, okay, now I can get some good shots on it. Uh, razor Pine, why did I put the Razor Pine away? That was a bad idea. Okay, pull out the Razor Pine real quick. And there we go, just constant, constant pine needles. And there we go, alright, uh, Golem Fist. And boom. Okay, back to the tear blade. Let's do some circling around this block. Okay. Oh gosh, it's killing us. We shouldn't kill us too bad. This place is not very boss friendly. 
Oh, Plantero, why did you have to awaken when I was using my Clintaminator? All I was trying to do is spread the mushroom biome. Okay, but it's almost dead anyways. It shouldn't kill us. I said it should not kill us. Even though we're at 50 health. Oh gosh, the movement in here is atrocious. Okay, good, we killed it. And we can pick up the hearts. We got the leaf blower. Um, I haven't gotten that before. Okay, that's cool. Um, but we need to go back to getting our truffle worm. <sighs> Don't see any truffle worms. Let's just continue spreading. Spread that uh, mushroom biome. Just all around. Okay, there we go. Alright. So, big, huge mushroom biome now. That takes up a big chunk of our jungle. Alright, so let's just go around. Uh, put this back. And we will heal up. Just regain our health. Um, what else is there? I don't see any. As soon as we see one, though, we need to make a very cautious approach. Truffle worm? I don't know. Day 27. Still, no truffle worm. Huh. Well, we saw one earlier. And that's the best we've gotten so far. Anything around here? Hey, there's a mimic. Let's go kill that mimic for some extra loot and monies. Um... Yeah, we have gotten a platinum coin already. Truffle worm! Come here, truffle worm! Oh my gosh, I should set up a farm for these, because they're so hard to get. Um, sorry, my phone went off. Uh, yeah, this is this is a nice episode so far. I'm, I think it's going really well. How do you guys think it's going? Leave your, leave your, w w however you felt about this episode, leave it in the comments below. Slash of warm. Okay, come on. Come on, Trex. Come on, Trex, find a truffle worm. It's up to the game at this point, viewer. I know, Trex, but use Tiet or something. I'm sorry, viewer, I, I play legit, viewer. No, Trex, sometime. Even the best of us have to cheat a little. But I am not a cheater. Nor am I. It's bad to cheat, but you just said, I know what I said. And don't listen to what I said. I'm just a 12-year-old with a keyboard and a Dell pre-built computer. So, yeah. Um, don't know what I'm talking about there. Let's return to the surface. Uh, check what time it is. It is nighttime. So let us just kill the destroyer. Um, let's get rid of this real quick. Uh, not the Golem Fist. Golem Fist, go back. Let's get rid of the Contaminator. Okay. Why am I only getting 30 FPS? It's the jungle. Okay, the, the, uh, the Horseman's Blade should be very useful for fighting the Destroyer. But, now, he is the next thing we ha next boss we have, so let's summon him. Alright, and we'll get our Horseman's Blade out. Here he comes. Uh, game is slightly, slightly lagging. Um... Okay, but yeah, this is this is very useful. Es muy bueno. That's is very good in Spanish. Um, I don't I don't know what useful is. I don't know that yet. I'm not that far in my curriculum. Okay, so please don't say I'm insensitive. I'm trying to learn your language. Okay. Um, yeah, like one time I did a. Uh, uh, welcome to the 100,000 block journey in Spanish. Okay, yeah, this is just absolutely destroying this guy, but then again, we are also getting absolutely destroyed. So let's break out the True Knight's Edge, or, sorry, the Terror Blade, to get some big damage on him. We'll try and get it going along him as much as possible. Okay, he is low on health. Um, so let's just continue this. Let's break out our Vampire Knives to steal some health from him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is working out well. That is working better than health potions. Okay, yes, we have regained quite about quite a bit of health. So let's just have our pumpkins come in to finish off the work. And he should die after a few more waves of pumpkins. There we go. He is dead. Got a destroyer mask and hell of ours. All right, on to the next one as soon as we recover our health. Mechanical eye. Okay. So that summons the twins. Uh, and let's just summon them. So let's get these guys going. Uh, we can't really melee up on him. 
so I'll just use this Terror Blade and the Vampire Knives uh, for most of this fight. Uh, we used the Terror Blade last time we fought them as well, I believe. Uh, actually, we can use some Razor Pine as well, because the Razor Pine does quite a bit of damage in quite a short amount of time. Yeah, let's actually get in for some melee. Uh, we have Vampire Knives this time, um, which we didn't have when we fought the Twins, because so we had to be Plantera. Oh yes, th these pumpkins are really doing some damage. Let's just get in real close, get in intimate with them. Okay, Retinas are, or Spasmatism, sorry. He's the one that does the big nasty, big nasty hits. Okay, hit him ranged if we can't hit him close. Um, go away, minimap. We don't need you right now. Uh, Spasmatism fires the lasers, but Retinas are, er, yeah. Spasmatism fires those big nasty poison shots, which poison you and do a ton of damage while Retinas are. Fires the quick lasers, which you can, you'll get hit by, but they don't do as much damage. Uh, we should steal some life from them up in a bit. I believe I'm still hitting them. Okay, ooh, yes, he goes into machine gun fire mode. I remember that. It's been a long time since I fought the twins. I, I like the twins. Um, I never got to fight them back when I used to play Terraria. This is, I, I bet you guys have heard this before, but this is the best I've ever done in any Terraria playthrough ever. I've never beaten Terraria before, and I have over 500 hours in the game. I've got like... 500, probably by the end of today, 558 or so. Um, but yeah, I've never beaten Terraria to the end. Like, and by to the end, I mean beating every boss. Like, uh, which is pretty much the end. Okay, uh, he is really, yeah, that that is the nasty, nasty attack. So let's steal some life from him, uh, from Spasmatism. But yeah, so this is the best I've ever done in Terraria, and it's recorded, and it's been 100 episodes, which is... Oh, 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 oh okay, there there we go, the twins have to be, have fallen, that's the twins, do we have enough time for Skeletron Prime? No, we do not, because the music is about to roll over. Uh, let's head back down into the jungle. As soon as we catch the Truffle Worm, we can do a world tour uh, in the day and such. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough time for Skeletron Prime this night. Uh, but we will the next night, and then we can fight Duke Fishron. So let's head back down. Let's be careful and get our bug net out. Place that over there. Um, bug net right there. Okay, sweet. And let's descend into our mushroom biome. I should fix that sometime. Um, that hole right there. There's. We need to be careful of that because that is for fighting Plantera. Alright, now, be very observant, Trex. And if you see a truff worm, be cautious. Cautious approaches. Shh, 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 viewer. Shh, be quiet, viewer. We could scare them off. We don't want that. We also don't want to really use our horseman's blade, because it'll sink to it. Okay. Just... Carefully take out these enemies. I think I saw one. Okay, shh. Could we find one? Could we, fi could we find the one? Morpheus, no. Morpheus, yes. Keanu, no. Keanu, yes. Morpheus, Keanu. Trinity! I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm now just making strange noises and Matrix references. Um, yeah, we really need to just find this truffle worm, because it is seriously the most annoying part of any boss fight, uh, besides maybe making arenas, is getting the truffle worm for Duke Fishron. Grr, 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 watch those shots, tricks, don't want to accidentally kill one. Oh. Silent Assassin. We have our Raven doing our bidding. Just like Mystique. Ha! Huh. Get it? That's an X-Men reference because Mystique's name is Raven. Ha! Huh. I... Oh, I'm the funniest person I know. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Where is that gosh darned diddly danged truffle worm? Gosh dang it! Where are you? I'm back to your mother's loving arms and then go clean your room because you're grounded. But mom, but truffle worm, you were out all night drinking even though you're 15. 
or whatever. Yeah, truffle worm. Yeah. You should feel ashamed for not showing yourself. I am going insane. That's what I've deduced. Um. Hmm. 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 I'm trying to entertain you guys, so please stick with me. Please don't go. This is episode 100. It's the big one, the special one. All right, let's see here. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot to sharpie off. Um, we beat the Destroyer and the Twins. So all the way have left now is Skeletron Prime, Plantera, Gollum, and of course, Duke Fishron. Um, what is Ron's name? Duke Silver. Yes, that's that's what I'll call him now. We have we have um. Skeletron Prime, Ter uh, not Terraria, Terraria is not a boss, we have Skeletron Prime, oh, Terraria is my boss, because that's how I make my YouTube money, we have Skeletron Prime, we have Plantera, we have Gollum, and then we have Duke Silver, alright, let's see here, oh gosh, where is that truffle worm? ruh ruh raggy I don't see one. I don't see one at all. Maybe we just need to, like, leave the area and come back. That's what I always find helpful. Um, as soon as we get that truffle worm, we'll do our world tour. Um, because then, yeah, we'll be able to. Hand, my hand is getting sticky from gripping my mouse, because my mouse gets sticky whenever my hand grips it. It's like a giant paradox, and it's slightly annoying, and I have to clean my mouse a bunch. Does anybody know how to clean a mouse, like, so that... And keep it non sticky because it's annoying having my fingers like feel all weird. Um, hmm. Day three. I bet this video has been going on for like 45 minutes or so. It's 8:47. Oh gosh, I started recording around 8 something. So yeah, um, this video is going to have to be rendered. It might have to be rendered at 30 FPS for time's sakes. Um, it's going to have to be uploaded as well. Oh gosh, this is gonna be such a big video. Um, but it, it'll be worth it because it's episode 100. It's the special. It's the big deal. Uh, we are doing it. We are doing it well. So let's descend into the heart of darkness with our bug nets out and careful, being observant. Hmm. I wonder if I have any truffle worms back at the uh, the ocean arena, or in my pet's chest, or did I waste too many trying to kill Duke Fishron? Huh. I should bring a hunter potion. Oh, don't use the pumpkin <gasps> truffle worm. Oh no, come back! Be cautious. Be cautious. And go for it, go for it, go for it. Swing, 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 swing. Yes! Yes, we got the truffle worm. Oh, thank goodness we have a truffle worm. Look at it. Look at it. Bast in its glory. There it is. The truffle worm. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, okay. That's the very last boss we have to fight. So I'll move that like that. Okay. Um. Now let's just put this stuff away. We have souls. Uh, boss souls. Put them in there. Alright. We have a whole bunch of stuff. Greater healing potions. Oh. Save the truffle worm. Okay, let's put away our greater healing potions. We are getting so much money. So much money! Already have a destroyer mask, but it doesn't sell for any value. So, um, a lot of the stuff I can just sell and throw away and stuff. So let's just do that. What do we not need? Don't need a stinger, or jungle spores, or that, or that, or that, or that, or that, uh, or those, not really. Um, we don't need another star cloak. So, there we go. All that we have left are the hallowed bars, the leaf blower, which is cool, because it shoots leaves. It literally blows the leaves. Um, the mask and the key, and I'll put those away, and we have so much gold. So much gold right now. Let's put the hard mode, the hallowed ore, and the hard mode bar. Uh, oh, no. Up there is where the mask goes. Hat, 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 hat. We have to wait till night to fight Skeletron Prime. 
screw it. I don't, I, don't or I do need the eye patch actually. Cause I don't know if I have another one. Uh, put the eye patch away and there we go. All right, so let's put the temple key in the old P bank and the leaf blower. Oh, ooh, don't have to go pee now, Trex. Save it. You can hold it. Okay. Oh, dang it. Well, um. I'm going to need to check back real quick on the video to see how much money I had, and I'll restore that. So, so I'm going to have to pause the record. Alright guys, we're back. I restored the money we had. We had one platinum, 46 gold, 15 coin, uh, silver, and 65 copper. I also took a real quick, just short break, so that I could go to the bathroom and stuff. But, we, okay, so we're back now. Um, and when it's nighttime, we'll be able to fight this guy, Mechanical Skull, uh, Skeltron Prime. And... Then we'll be able to do Plantera, or, uh, Plantera, Golem, and, um, the last guy, Duke Fishron, Duke Silver, um, yeah, Duke Fishron. So, let's just put this stuff away real quick, because we don't need it anymore, because I hope we don't fail on Duke Fishron. Let's actually make ourselves an Iron Skin Potion real quick, if I can find out how I do that. Uh, I know I need, like, Sunflowers and Iron. Just make five of them. Um, because the Iron Skin Potions will be useful. Guide. He is moved somewhere else. He is living in some room around here. Uh, okay, he's down there. Alright, Guide. How do I make an Iron Skin Potion? What do I need? I need... Boy, cracks. I need, uh, bottled water, day blooms, and... Iron ore. So let's get five day blooms and five bottles of water uh, through here in our greenhouse is where we keep the day blooms. Um, so nice having this greenhouse because I actually have the things that I need now. Um, bottles are the first. Excuse me. Bottles are the first material in here. So let's get five of them. At six, I'm stupid. Okay. Um, and alchemy station right. Through here? Through here? Okay, good, I did make him. Uh, and we'll just drink this so that we can get rid of it. Because I don't feel like putting it up right now. Alright, so now, um, now that we're waiting for it to be night, we will do the world tour, starting off with the house. So, the first things we built of this house were this hallway with these NPC chambers for our NPCs. Um, and then originally it was just these two rows of houses right here, but later on we added this row of houses for other NPCs. Um, Santa lives here during the winter. And yeah, so after we built these NPC houses, we also built our storage, our crafting room, our mass crafting room, and our uh, armory, which contains s different sets of armor. I'm trying to collect every single set of armor in the game. Um, not the... Uh, not the, um, different wood variations, but every single set of armor. And then after we built this armory, we built this massive, massive storage room where we can store everything in the game, and it's all categorized and organized and sorted out into its very specific chests. And originally we had signs, but then we renamed, I took the liberty in like 30 minutes or 45 minutes to rename all of my chests to what they were and now it's much cleaner looking and it's much easier to access and then after that we built this tr bedroom up here um, this bedroom and trophy room but then I decided I didn't like having my bed up here so we built this extension where the bed is now located and it's a gold royal bed and this has become the full trophy room with a throne and everything and then down here is the bedroom with the clock and the pee bank and the key brand, which is like my favorite sword in the game, besides the cutlass, uh, favorite, my favorite looking sword. And then we have our pets. We have our squirrel, our bunny, our penguin, and our frog. Um, and then the last extension. Oh, also, we dug this elevator at some point during the construction. And then the last extension we made to the house was the greenhouse, which is over here, which is where we grow the plants we need for our potions. So that is a tour of the house which you can download and explore for yourself in the new world download I'll provide. And now, if we go down here, this was my very first mine. This is where I started mining uh, for the Let's Play. I um, 
this is where we got all of our needs because it was a cave that was literally right next to our house and it stretches down quite a ways into a spider's nest where we get, where we found the stylist and the stylist has disappeared since then and I cannot find her again so yeah once we find her pl stylist please come back to me I, I know I did some things wrong and some things that I shouldn't have said but it's it's stylist it's not you it's me stylist I, lo I love you stylist um up here we have our floating islands and originally we had a railway but we took that down um so yeah um but we take that down to build the metro if we fly over to here we have this bridge uh, that we built across this lake instead of swimming through it and then we have this shaft that goes all the way down down to our metro station these holes have yet to be filled in. I'm too lazy to do that right now. But here we are in our metro station. And we have one line currently, which I completed. And this line goes all the way to the dungeon. So if we ride through these... Um, we don't even have to press the arrow key like we did on the last one. We can just sit back and let it load. Albeit slightly terribly for some reason. And the game isn't running as fast as it could be, but still, we're loading. I probably shouldn't have Chrome running in the background, I now realize. But now we can go up, and here we are at our dungeon. The dungeon, of course, uh, we have used for exploring, and in the dungeon, I, I believe we have mapped out the entire dungeon. Um, but here is where we fought Skeletron, originally. And here's where, where we get all of our hard mode chests. 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 Now behind the dungeon, we have this arena over here. Oh, uh, we have a desert, and then we have a massive ocean arena, which we use to, uh, which we used to fight. Uh, what was it? I believe Duke Fisheron. I can't remember if we fought any other bosses. I know that it was built for the for the intent of fighting Duke Fisheron, but um, once we reach here we will fight Skeletron Prime here convenient timing Trex wow um that was convenient timing uh that this is a very useful arena with heart statues and stuff for us to fight the uh for us to fight um Skeletron Prime there used to be a rail that ran through here but there that is no more so this is our arena it is quite tall and goes quite far up and then there's a bed down here which we will not be using and then there's a door out to the ocean where originally we had a farm but we had to take it down because it was kind of cramping so now that it is night let us summon the mechanical skull sorry let us summon skeleton prime and we shall fight him fight him with all of our might with this razor pine because we have mana statues to generate uh mana stars and stuff for us so that we can just continue fighting. Um, we should have used some of those in our pumpkin moon arena. So yeah, this is Skeletron Prime. He is a boss that we defeated sometime uh, after hard mode. I'm going to stop using my tour voice right now. Um, and let's do this. Skeletron Prime, guys. He come, We fought him and beat him after Destroyer and the Twins. He is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, ninth boss we fought in Terraria 1.2 with GXCW. And he was quite a doozy, if I remember. I think it took us a time or two to defeat him. But nevertheless, we did beat him, and we did win. And we have cleansed Terraria of one more foul enemy. Let's go back to the Razor Pine uh, for this guy. We can take out some, uh, some limbs from him using it. And if we can drop down here and get some stars, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. All right, just focus all effort on the head. But also, we can take out the weapons if we want to. Because the weapons do quite a bit of damage. Uh, grab these stars as well. I know Kung Fu. Uh, that was such an epic line. Take out that. There we go. That weapon is gone. He only has three left. Uh, and let's grab some hearts down here. Alright. Uh, full health. We don't need to use vampire knives. Um, because we can just uh, collect these hearts. He has gone into his enraged mode where his head is all pointy and stuff. Uh, let's just finish him off with some horseman's blade action uh yep okay and they're swimming in to come and kill him they should get him come on come closer come closer skeleton prime 
All right, just, just get in there. Get in there. Get in there, you jackal. Ah, oh, he's been defeated. All right, so now we just need to fly up and collect the souls because the souls are always useful uh, for keys and such. There we go. Skeletron Prime, been defeated. Ninth boss down. Now we have Plantera and Gollum and Duke Fishron. And we'll be done with Terraria 1.2 Takes W. Episode 100. So that's it for this right side of the map. We have covered the arena, the dungeon. Um, oh, no, no, we are not done. We covered the metro, and we just rode the line out. But there's still a few more things I need to show you guys. So let's um, turn this off real quick, and we'll get out of the arena. They broke down the door for whatever reason. All right, so, yeah, we are on our way. Let's fly over, because I have two, three more things to show you guys. All right, so heading over now, back in world tour mode. Um, it's nighttime. We can fight Plantera, Gollum, and Duke Fishron at any time. So, oh, we're going to need to get our fishing hook at some point. But we'll be able to travel back to the arena easily because we have a metro all the way to the dungeon. And then from there we can fly. It is raining now. Mm, nice, nice. Okay. All right, somewhere around here. Hmm. Alright, so after this world tour is completed, guys, we'll go back and fight Plantera, and then Gollum, and then Duke Fishron, and then we will be done. This has been quite a long episode already. Uh, when I paused the recording and uh, rechecked the money, it was at 55 minutes. Alright, so over here is our first stop. This, right here, was an artificially created above-ground uh, glowing mushroom farm, but because it was in the Crimson... Um, the housing did not count, and, uh, the truffle could not move in here. So, uh, this is now j essentially just used as a glowing mushroom farm. Um, it, it, it's really nice looking. I try to make it look natural, but it's entirely useless, essentially. So, if we go over here and fly a ways through, we will see that we have a rope. Uh, but first, we have this platform of dirt and platforms. And this was the arena where we fought the Eye of Cthulhu and beat him for the first time. And there's a bed in here, um, but that is long since gone. So, yeah, this was the arena where we fought and killed the Eye of Cthulhu. If we climb up this rope up here, we will reach the Truffles Mushroom Biome. So, yeah, th this is where the Truffle lives now, and this is where he shall live forevermore. Um, before... Real quick, guys. Sorry, I have something to, I have to do real quick. I'm going to pause the recording, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. I um, I closed Chrome real quick, real quick, so hopefully that should be giving us an FPS boost. But anyways, we're back. I uh, just covered the truffle mushroom biome, and I believe that that is it for the left side of the map. Or, sorry, right side of the map. Now, we have to go on the left side. Uh, real quick, we'll just pick up a fishing line um, so we can fight Duke Fish on. That's in my tool somewhere. Somewhere down here, I believe. Um, wait, was it in my piggy bank? Let me just double check real quick. No, it was not. Okay, so tools. Uh, it'd be in misc tools. There we go. There's our fishing line. Let's sell this stuff because we do not need it. Um, and the hallowed bars. I'll just put this away real quick. We stack all that. Oh, we have made a full stack of these hallowed bars. Um, we have a star. We can put away. Uh, let's put away these souls as well. Uh, uh, boss souls, real quick. And we have some potions, healing potions, and glowing mushrooms. And we'll, we will be back on our way um, through the world tour. All right. So we just have three bosses left: Plantera, Gollum, and Duke Fishron. But now for the right side of the map. Um, we're gonna have to walk this. Because I can't remember everything. Alright, so the first stop coming up here is, if I can remember correctly, yes, this is a small lava pit that I made when I originally fought the pirate invasion. It was not very effective, it was quickly removed, but I haven't, or it was quickly decommissioned, but I have not used it since, and it is still a staple of the world today. You can use it for your invasions. Um, I think it actually does work against invasions, but it might not. This was a hole I dug when I first got my uh, sure my digging claw. It is not exciting, and I will not go into it because it is dark and scary. And there are girls down there. And I'm afraid of girls. 
Anyways, next up we have our pumpkin, um, pumpkin moon arena, which we used to fight the pumpkin moon, not but two or three episodes ago. And that's where we got the horseman's blade, and I'll be using the same arena to fight the frost moon, albeit probably with a different background, or maybe, um, with the same background, but with a Santa hat on to give it festivities. Um, yeah, but this is where we got the horseman's blade, and it was successful, and we will come back to the, uh, pumpkin moon some other day to fully beat it. Now, we have many, many arenas in this world. Um, we have the ocean arena, we have the, we have the, uh, what is it called, the I've Cthulhu arena we created, we have, let me just double check them all real quick, we have the ocean arena, we have the I of Cthulhu arena, we have the dungeon, which is kind of an arena, we have this pirate invasion hole, we have this, uh, pumpkin arena, and we have our crimson arena over here. So, those are all arenas. We have quite a few. This hole, though, leads down to the temple, which is where we will fight the golem in but a few short... Uh, ooh. We will fight the golem right about now. Let's just kill this planter real quick. Um, because we are able to. Alright, so let's just go down here into a bigger hole where we can fight Plantera. Um, if we can work our way to our... Uh, oh, oh yes. We also have this Plantera arena over here. So what is that, like five or six arenas or something? Yeah, ton of arenas. We have way too many. And then the temple, I guess. Yeah, it's like six or seven arenas in this world. So the temple can kind of be counted as an arena. But here we go. We're fighting Plantera, the tenth boss, I believe, that we fought in the series. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, tenth boss of the series. Um, tenth boss that we beat as well. So let's let's do this. Let's kill this thing in our temple. It's kind of fitting because Plantera is a um, jungle enemy. We already beat her once this episode, but that doesn't count because it was an accidental uh, summoning and it was out of order. So yeah, um, she's backing us into a corner. So let's pull the vampire knives, get our health back up. And we'll continue the fight. Fighting the good fight. Hmm. Alright, let's uh let's call him Fister, because we're in short range with her. And that should be super effective. Oh yes, that's doing loads of damage. Alright, alright, razor pine time. Mmm, mmm. That is such a satisfying sound. Uh continue with the vampire knives to regain our health. We are about to beat Plantera in just a few short um few short swings. Uh, and Plantera has been defeated. That is the tenth boss we have beaten in our Terraria 1.2 Let's Play series. Down once again, Plantera, you are dead. Next up, we have Gollum. All right, Gollum is the big one. He is the big Kahuna. So if we can just go down here real quick, we can place our dirt block, such mud block, to block off the arena, and. We will buff ourselves up with an iron skin potion. How did you even get through here? Hello. All right, so now, Gollum does have a glitch response up here, but that is fine. We will summon him anyways. Come on. Summon, 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 summon. Okay, there's Gollum. Okay, good, good. And Gollum has spawned once again up in the hole um, where he is not allowed to leave until he eventually jumps out. But... Um, I didn't choose for this to happen, that's just how the world generated it, so I'll just deal with it like a man. Um, alright, so Gollum is fighting his way out, we are going to have to be extremely skilled to kill him, but we've done it before, how hard can it be to do it again? Let's knock out his fist, because that fist has gone, it appears. So that is one less weapon for him. Let's grapple onto the ceiling where we can get a better vantage point. And Gollum, the 11th boss that we fought and beat in Terraria 1.2 TXTW, is right here before our very eyes, and we are killing him. He can't even touch us except for with his fireballs. Oh, and now his laser eyes, too. Um, we don't talk about that. How dare you even mention that? How dare you mention his laser eyes? All right, Gollum, I've beaten you before I can beat you again. For by my father and his father and the father before him, you! Oh, wait, I just noticed there's spear traps right there. I haven't gotten those yet. I should probably pick those up. What was I saying again? I don't know. But Gollum. Oh, yes, his head is now flying around. Um, so we release the head from his body, just like Sean Bean. Um, I don't watch that show. I should make that reference. 
Uh, spoiler alert, by the way. I don't even watch the show. Uh, never mind. Never mind. All right, and Gollum is down for the count. Opposite of Mayweather and Piquillo. Oh, he dropped souls. Okay. Oh, no, he didn't. It's just because he killed him. Gollum, the 11th boss of Trey 1.2 that we beat, is down for the count. The only boss we have left is Duke. So, Duke Fishron. So, now, let's continue with this world tour. And then after, the, after we reach the edge of the world, we will fight Duke Fishron by casting our line into the water once and for all to seal our fate as the conqueror of Terraria. And then we'll do a final gold count as well and see how much money we earned just from killing all these bosses. So let's fly to the surface. Um, we'll also count up the arenas that we have real quick. Um, while in the jungle, we need to visit our... our um, wait... There might be another smaller arena. I don't know if I should count it, but this hive. Yes, this hive. We have a hive arena. It's nothing notable. It's just where we fought the queen bee the first time. It's literally two platforms, so it's nothing too notable. But there's a plantera arena, which is big and cool, and it is a staple of the world. So we do need to check that out. So let's just head down this hole right down here. Um, okay. So, if we just go through here, like this, there's our plantar's bulb, and if we climb up through here like this, and continue along this passageway, we can, uh, uh we can go to our arena, and, uh, stop touching me, people! I'm so popular. Anyways, here's our plantar arena. It is large, and it is like the second biggest arena in my map. It has lots of campfires, because campfires are cool and provide cool benefits. Just like welfare. Um, stop texting me! Ah, okay. Um, alright. So that's our planetary arena. Let's return to the surface, and we will continue walking. Let's do an arena count real quick of the arenas we've covered. We've covered the Ocean Arena, the Cthulhu Arena, um, I won't count the dungeons, so that's two. We have covered the Pumpkin Arena, that's three. We have covered the Plantera Arena, so that is four. We have covered four arenas so far out of five, and seven if you include the dungeon and the, um, if you include the dungeon and the temple. So yeah, quite a few arenas in this world, but they make it all great. Uh, we still have an Iron Skin debuff buff, so let's just disable that, um, alright, 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 Matthew McConaughey here, taking over Trex's channel, anyways, let's just continue on, because we're just bugs on a rock in a void, think about these, never mind, I won't say that quote, okay, uh, continuing along, this is our jungle, it is small and broken, but it is mine, I'm gonna grab some water, All right, time for the second cup of water that I brought. Just planning ahead. All right, my throat's been acting up, so... Yeah, um, this is our hallow. I can't remember if it's the natural one. This is our crimson arena. It's not ne necessarily always crimson, but we can contaminate it to make it whatever arena we want. Just like people. Anyways... Yeah, so we can change this around to whatever arena we want, and it's useful for grinding items. It was mostly used in the quest for the Ankh Charm, which was a seven-episode long series where we um, collected every single item we needed to create this Ankh Charm, which we still have uh, equipped today. This is interesting because it has dart traps, and that's really all it has going for it. Continuing on, this is our living tree. It is a large tree and it is alive. It has different wood than normal tree. It has small room where NPCs occasionally live. And it bugs me when they do. But there's no furniture so they can't anymore. Ha ha! Moving on. This is a hole in the ground with a cactus. Its name is Fred. Do not enter Fred for you will be slain. Um, alright. What else have we got? Uh, we have this house. This was our ocean outpost. And where we would have an outpost until I got wings and realized it was just easier to fly. Um, and finally, the last real feature of this world, 
the key mold farm this is a farm designed specifically for farming key molds um it has dart traps and spear traps and every time that we want a different key mold we change out these blocks to the blocks we want the the uh different sea mobs of that biome spawn as well as just the normal mobs and those mobs each have a chance of dropping a key mold because of these surrounding blocks so yeah that is it that is everything for this world that was the trailer episode 100 world tour i hope it was worth it um but now it is time guys for the 12th and final boss that we fought and beat in terraria 1.2 with jxw we got plantera mask what oh that looks so cool oh my gosh what's that what is this uh, i have the golem okay so this guys it's time for the final um metal burst okay yeah uh, final boss of plant of Terraria 1.2 TXW that we have played and beaten before. It took us three attempts, but we're here to do it in one. He is the good, the bad, and the ugly. Wah, 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 Duke Fishron. So now we cast our line and wait. It will be a fight at night, but that is fine. Let us buff up as soon as we get a bite. All right, and here we go. We are underway. Oh, and Duke Fishron, he is fast, but we are faster, just barely. And we have health potions. He has attacks, but we can take out his bubbles with our ranged sword. This is one of the most difficult fights that we have ever had in Terraria 1.2 HXW, but we can do it as we have done it before. And now that we have vampire knives, we can steal life from him to make this easier. All right, so he is continuing to fire his bubbles at us. He has 50,000 health. I believe that is the most health of any boss. We have already taken him down 10,000 health, which is good. I need to itch my nose for a second, which is slightly unfortunate. Um, but he is going down. You are going down again, Duke Fishron, for only the second time. Or is it the third time in the series? No, I think it's only the second time, because I may or may not have gotten um, fi fla uh, Duke Fishron's the Fishron wings in the first time I killed him. It might have been the... Yeah, I think this is going to be the second time I've killed him. He's down uh, almost 20,000 health already, and we're still 500 health. This is much easier than the first time we fought him, because we have better wings, better armor, I believe, better armor, um, better weapons, better loadout overall, uh, more equipment, and we've taken him down. 20,000 health. We are here at the Pumpkin Moon Arena. Oh, and he is summoning the Whirlpool. Uh, Sharknadoes, that's what they are. Oh, gosh. And now we reach these cliff sides, where it is slightly dangerous. But we can continue doing this. He, his attacks do a lot of damage, so let's steal some life from him. Just come on, give me that life. He has entered his second phase. Oh, gosh. That is quite unnerving to see those yellow eyes with that streak, because he's so fast. But he is down. Uh... What is he down? Almost 30,000 health. That is good. That is good. Let's go back to the Terror Blade because we are full health. And we still have our Iron Skin debuff. Um, continue firing at him. We're about to reach our home, so we'll try and move that as fast as possible so we don't get stuck on it and risk killing our NPCs. Um, the sharks are just kamikaze into the ground. But anyways, we appear to have moved over our home with ease. Oh, that took out quite a bit of damage from us over the metro so we don't get caught and now is where it gets tricky because there are so many holes around here that it is quite difficult to not get caught in one we're still doing this he's down for uh, 35,000 health so there's 15,000 left we can do this we have the upper hand we have almost full health um, we're just down 100 but if we can do this we can beat this boss that'll be it that'll be the end of Terraria 1.2 TXW episode 100 that is don't get caught Trex don't get caught you have less than 10,000 health to beat him okay let's heal up and let's also steal some life uh, just to be safe okay don't need the horseman's blade don't need the horseman's blade 7,000 health left don't get caught okay we made it across sweet continue fighting will we reach the edge of the uh, uh, the edge of the world no we will not because we he should be dead by the time we do um, or not, actually. Uh, he has 4,000 health left. Anyways, guys, we're in the last 5,000 5, health of Duke Fishron's life. His sick, pitiful life. Last 1,000, I believe. And let's catch it on screen. He is dead! Duke Fishron is dead! We got the bubble gun. 
Is that useful at all? It does not sound very powerful. Oh, 79 magic damage. Here it says, we just beat it. We just beat the fish run. The 12th boss that we fought and beat of Dreary 1.2 TXW. So these guys, we beat, in, in total, we beat the Eye of Cthulhu, the King Slime, the Brain of Cthulhu, the Queen Bee, the Skeletron, the Wall of Flesh, the Destroyer, the Twins, Skeletron Prime, Plantera, the Golem, and Duke Fishron. Let me scratch that off the list. There we go. All 12 bosses that we have fought in the series have been killed in one episode. Let's do a gold count. That is the wrong button. We got one platinum, 97 gold, 36 silver, and 62 copper coins, which will increase our balance greatly. So, these guys, we did a world tour. We beat 12 bosses. I feel like that was a satisfactory episode 100. This is like an hour and a half or so. So, hopefully, way more than you guys bargained for. There will be a new world download down in the description below. So, yeah, updated to episode 100, the special download episode. So, these guys, Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Terry 1.2 to your XW. Thank you so much for keeping this series alive. Thank you for keeping it going. Your views and your your audience and your support is what keeps me going. What keeps me making what keeps me making videos. It's not about how much money I get paid each month. It's about what you guys what I produce for you guys and that you guys enjoy. And that's really what I care about. We we're 4,000 subscribers strong. Uh, we just recently hit that milestone. Uh, we're, hopefully we'll hit 5,000 subscribers in the next two months or so. That was 100 episodes of Terraria 1.2, and there's still more we have. This is an incredible game. This has been an incredible experience, and we still have more. So, anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for a very satisfactory episode 100. Hope you enjoy the world download. The next episode of Terraria will be Wednesday. Maybe I may be a bit exhausted from this episode. Um... Tomorrow, I should have an episode of the 100,000 Block Journey. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.